Hi, I'm Randolph Miller, and welcome to another segment of Bounce Around Charleston. Well, this week, my guest, LaVonda Brown, director of the YWCA of Greater Charleston. LaVonda, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Always. Okay, we're coming up on that historical event again, celebrating the life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tell us all about that. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I want to say that thanks to the Tri-County community, we are celebrating 50 years of honoring Dr. King and his dream and his vision for equity. So YWCA Greater Charleston is just uh, completely owes a debt of gratitude for the community for continuing to support this celebration. And as we all know, we all have had to make changes, pivot, yes. whatever you want to call it. We've had to do things differently. <laughs> So uh, we are, we're definitely still going to have our major, you know, cornerstone programs. We are going to have our, uh, our breakfast, uh, which we're calling the summit, okay. the uh, MLK Business and Professional Summit. And that is going to be on Thursday, January 13th. So we're actually kicking off the celebration. I know any of you who've been around for a while know that this typically was the end but we felt it was important that the business community come together and kick off this celebration. So we are moving it to Thursday the 13th. And then of course we will have our ecumenical service and that is going to be uh, on Sunday the 16th. And on the 17th, everyone can kick back warm and cozy in their jammies and they can watch <laughs> the parade which will be televised by WCBD. Uh, on the day of the holiday. So we, we're we still doing those major things that we've done, but we are doing things a little differently. Well, you know, the pandemic has really caused us to sort of change our lifestyle, yes. but it's good to know that you all are still continuing with the celebration. So what should the community be, be prepared to do for you? The community should be prepared, one, to follow us on all of the social media platforms or uh, sign up for our newsletter so you can stay very constant in the know of what we're doing. We certainly, uh, all of our events will have a virtual feature this year, so you will be able to tune in, log in, and participate. So we definitely want the community to join and participate. And of course, we do, we will have some in-person, socially distanced um, components, but those will be exclusively for our sponsors and our program participants, because we want to make sure that we keep everyone safe. Okay, now what will the, what will the children be doing this year? The children are going to be woven throughout all of our programs. We are going to have um, youth talent at both the breakfast as well as the uh, ecumenical service. So you will see children doing um, their creative uh, contribution to this celebration, and that's going to be woven throughout the entire uh, celebration. We would never leave out the voices of our young people. And I know you all had a uh, submit a theme, and you all were going to choose uh, the theme for the celebration. Can you announce that now, or should you wait? I Listen, uh, you're not going to get me in trouble with my communications <laughs> <laughs> and jump ahead, but we are very close to announcing that theme. This has been a community effort. We had, uh, oh gosh, about 60 or so uh, submissions for the theme. We had to narrow it down to the top 10. And so we will very soon, and you will be the first to know <laughs> that the, when the theme is selected. And we're just really excited because what we saw in the theme suggestions this year were that people really want to get us on track. They wanna see this country to the place where we are really living. We are putting the dream in action. Well, you know, I said that because I submitted too. You I did, said, yeah. <laughs> and they were good. <laughs> I said, I'm sitting here with my fingers crossed. I can't wait, but no, what, but whichever theme is selected, I'm quite sure it will represent the life and legacy of Dr. King. Okay. So um, so what else is happening with the Y along with this? Oh, well, we are constantly, we just ended our What Women Bring uh, event where we honor 10 women from, oh, uh, 
10 different industries. And mm -hmm. I mean, everything from education, healthcare, uh, we had some dynamic women. So anyone who participated in that event will be a part of our monthly newsletters where I'm doing one-on-one -on -one interviews with every one of our honorees. So we get a chance to get to know them a little bit better. And uh, oh my gosh, our coding program for girls, we got girls in three different uh, locations throughout the Tri-County that are just completing their coding. So they are getting their certificates this week and they'll be coming back at the first of the year to continue those skills. So we're, we're constantly um, doing the things. And our, as I said, our website is very current. So if you wanna know what we're doing and how we're uplifting women and making sure that the voices of our young people are lifted up, you will definitely see that our She Strong uh, Club for Girls, or sorry, leadership program for high school girls, um, very, very well received. These young ladies are doing, um, they're doing advocacy work and they're, they're training, they're learning how to be leaders. So that is, that's very exciting. You know, I don't mean to, to jump back, but I remember you stating something about the parade, I guess, and what I need oh, to ask yes. is uh, what will a person need to do to become a part of the parade? That's what I just To be ask. a part of the parade, just register on our website. Uh, we are doing, we are pre-recording the parade on a closed set because again, we're really trying to make sure that everyone is um, kept safe. So we will be recording the live moving parade at Hampton Park, which um, many Charlestonians will know that Hampton Park has some great significant historical context. And so we'll be doing our laps uh, around the, the park and we'll be, you know, our kids, when you ask about the young people, I was looking at the registration list uh, just last night and we have so many groups of mm -hmm. uh, young people, young and old that are gonna come out and enjoy that. And, and then it'll be recorded. And then we can, at the warmth of our home, we can watch the parade on TV. What about supporting the YWCA? What can we do to help you in that area? Absolutely. You know, I think sometimes, um, People don't understand what membership in the YWCA is because we aren't what uh, you typically think of as a membership organization. We're not a workout facility or a swimming pool per se. But when you join the YWCA, you're joining us on our mission to fight for equity. So our membership is very reasonable. It's $50 for the year. And with that, you get all of the advance notice. So like uh, you'll be the first to know. So you're in, our, you're in our circle. Once you become a member, you're the first to know. But also when we're looking for board members, when we're looking for committee members, when we're looking for young people to be a part of our programs, we start with our membership. So your membership really puts you in our network of those folks that are going to provide thought leadership and support. So we want as many members as possible. We want we love when it's tough. And that's why picking the theme was so hard because we started with our members, our members and our volunteers that uh, that support our work. And so that's how you support us. You you give us strength because of their strength in numbers. But you also support us financially because nothing's free. And all this work requires teams there. You know, you have teams. We all have a team of folk that make this happen. And that costs money. But that that support the numbers is what we're, we're really looking for membership. And we, we want that diversity in our membership. And this year, finally, where will your business and professional partnership breakfast be held? It will be held at the Visitor Center on Meeting Street. Okay, and it's going to be in in the Camden room. It's going to be at seven a.m. same same time, seven a.m. But that it will be Thursday the thirteenth, and so depending on sponsorship level, it depends on how many in person uh, tickets you will receive for the breakfast. And is there a cost for the breakfast? Oh no, because it's the the in person is just limited, and then. If any of our members and supporters will be getting the link to uh, to join us. So again, being it being in the number is going to definitely uh, it, it makes you a little VIP in our book. Okay, <laughs> Lavonda Brown, director of the YWCA of Greater Charleston. We say thank you for joining us on Bounce Around Charleston, and we look forward to celebrating with you for the legacy and life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Okay, you heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston. It's coming up in January, beginning on the 13th. So we're looking for a wonderful time as we celebrate the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We'll be right back after this break.